www.cbcsgeology.org Like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notifications for future video uploads. Hello friends, welcome to channel Jew Bangla. Today our subject of discussion is cancer with some historical events and a painful story of Henrietta Lacks. American journalist Rebecca Scolot in her book The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks explored the story behind Hela cells, most common in recent day cell culture. Like other videos, we here also discuss about the possible questions to be asked in coming exam in later part of this video, so watch the video till end. And most importantly, if you are not a subscriber of this channel, then please subscribe to receive updates at a regular basis. So here comes cancer. History of cancer is very important. 3000 BC, all these descriptions we ever had. In Edwin Smith the Papyrus, ancient Egyptian medical textbook is there. The front side with 377 lines in 17 columns and back side with 92 lines in 5 columns. In that particular book described 8 cases of tumor or also uh, the breast. Now concentrate on Hippocrates 460-370 BC who is also called as father of medicine. Use the term actually casinos and sarcinoma to describe non ulcer forming and ulcer forming tumors. These terminologies are very common nowadays in research as well as in treatment. Hippocrates describes several kinds of cancer, referring to them by the term karkinos, the Greek word for crab or crayfish. In Greek, these words actually refer to a crab, most likely uh, appear to the disease because. The finger-like spreading projections from a cancer called to mind the shape of a crab. How interesting! Next come to the Roman physician Celsus. He translated Carcinos into cancer, a Latin word for crab or crayfish. Now Galen. We are now quite familiar with the terminologies like carcinoma, sarcoma, lymphoma, uma. The suffix actually has been used by Galen. Gallon Greek physicians use the word onkos also Greek meaning swelling to describe tumors. Gallon term is now used as a part of the name for cancer specialists like oncologist. Can you imagine that? Gallon 130 to 200 AD used the terminology onkos nowadays used by cancer specialist oncologists. Cancer like disease like namely Ayurveda, Arvuda, Granthi, Gulma. These are terminologies we traced in different books. Especially three main Ayurvedic classic texts are available including Shushruta Samhita, Charak Samhita, Astanga Rudayam. There were no reports on the probable prevalence of cancer in India until the end of the 18th century. Now, we will concentrate on major types of cancer, carcinoma, sarcoma, lymphoma. In case of carcinoma, arise from the epithelial cells that cover actually external and internal body surface area, including cervical, breast, skin, brain, lung, colon, prostate, kidney, bladder cancer, etc. Then sarcoma, sarcoma solid tumors, representing solid tumors of some connective tissue layer, including muscles, bone, cartilage, fat cells, fibrous tissue, etc. And lymphoma deals with cancer that begins in infection, fighting cells of the immune system like lymphocytes. These cells are in the lymph uh, nodes, spleen, thymus, bone marrow and other parts of the body. When you have lymphoma, lymphocytes change and go out of control. It's a very dangerous situations we have. In leukemia, another most important patterns of cancer we have excessive productions of white blood cells the cancer of blood forming tissues including bone marrow now metastasis is very common terminologies we have for cancerous cells cancerous cells the process by which tumor cells from a primary site invade and migrate to other part of the body is called metastasis in the pictorial presentation it is clearly evident through invasion intravasion transport extra and metastatics colonizations 
and angiogenesis. So metastasis is the fundamental difference between a benign and a malignant growth and represents the major clinical problems of cancer. We have some important characteristic features of cancerous cells now. Immortalization is the most important. In these departments, we will concentrate on Henrietta Lacks, Rebecca Scullot. Normal cell culture actually do not survive indefinitely. Transform cell culture are immortal and can grow indefinitely. Striking example is Hela cells. So now our subject of discussion is about Hela cells and its origin. Hela cells were obtained in 1950 from a uterine cancer diagnosed in a woman named Henrietta Lacks. Now who is Henrietta Lacks? On August 1920 in Ruanok, Virginia, a small girl who would change medical science forever was born. Her name was Henrietta. Like most of her family, young Henrietta helped out on their tobacco farm, harvesting the crop and hauling the leaves to South Boston to be sold. Henrietta married a day when she was 20 and the couple soon began having children. But these were difficult times for small farmers and the family was struggling financially. So Henrietta and they decided to move to Sparrow Point near Baltimore. A decade later in, nine, in early 1951, Henrietta walked into the designated colorates on the examination roof of Johans Hopkins Gynecology Center. She had recovered a lump on her cervix. The head of gynecology, John Hopkins Hospital, was studying cervical cancer at that time and asked the head of tissue culture, George Gates, to develop a culture of both healthy and cancerous surgical cell tissues. On 4th October 1951, young black woman named Henrietta Lex died of cervical cancer in Baltimore's John Hopkins Hospital. The mother of five children, Henrietta, was 31, and although poor, was remembered as being strikingly pretty. Apart from that, there seemed to be nothing special about her life. But in death, Henrietta was transformed. Cells removed from her body without her family's permission were subsequently used by doctors to revolutionize medicine by mixing them with special plasma. Henrietta's body lies in an unmarked grave while her children have revealed they did not laugh for more than 20 years, that their mother's cells were still alive and had been used to create an entire branch of medical science. I am requesting all of you to go through the description sections. Some links are there to go through detailed story of Henrietta Lacks, how the family, how the lady deprived by the authority. Some important characteristic features of cancerous cells are also here, like loss of contact inhibition. Normal cells in a culture stop growing when their plasma membrane come into contact with one another. The inhibition of growth after contact is called contact inhibition. Transform cells are unable to go into a question stage after divisions. They will grow and divide continuously until they kill themselves. Transform cells apparently undergo a change in the property of their plasma membrane which become less adhesive. This change enables the cells to dissociate from neighboring cells and to infiltrate other organs. Cancer cells thus lack proper recognition and communication. Next one is very important character reduced cellular adhesion. When normal cells become cancerous, there is change in the stickiness or adhesiveness of their plasma membrane. Transform cells show a decreased adhesiveness and if grown in solid media, they stick to each other less than do normal cells. Next important feature is invasiveness. In contrast to normal cells, transform cells can penetrate the could you allow to take membrane of the hands a excellent example of such invasiveness? This invasiveness could be due to changes in the plasma membrane and or due to maybe 
protease released by the cancerous cells. Another important feature, loss of anchorage dependence. What do you mean by loss of anchorage dependence of any cancerous cell? Very frequently asked questions in the exam. As we have mentioned, in each and every video, we will discuss frequently asked questions answer format in the later part of our video. So, loss of anchorage dependence and other features. Most normal cells must be attached to a rigid substratum. They need a rigid substratum in order to grow in a culture medium. Transform cells can grow even when they are not anchored to the substratum. Example, when transform cells are suspended in a semi-solid medium containing agar or methyl cellulose, they continue their growth. This loss of anchorage is most striking characteristics of transform cells, which form malignant tumors. This property is used to select transform cells from a normal cell population. Lower serum requirements, another very important characteristic features of cancerous cells, growth of normal cells in tissue culture medium requires a high concentration of serum. Some serum growth factors like somatomedins resemble insulin hormones in interacting with external receptors on the plasma membrane to regulate biochemical activities within the cell. Some very interesting example is normal 3T3 cells. So what do you mean by 3T3 cells? 3-day transfer inoculum 3 into 10 to the power 5 cells. So these are the abbreviation meanings. Grow optimally in 10% fetal cup serum. While well, cells transformed by SB40, simian virus number 40, can grow equally when in 1% or 10% serum. This is very ex nice examples of lower serum requirements. Another uh, important feature is the molecular changes in components of the plasma membrane. The plasma membrane consists of four main types of phospholipids, which form the lipid bilayers with glycolipids and glycoproteins inserted into this bilayer. Cancerous cells apparently do not differ from normal cells in their relative amounts of phospholipids. However, gangliosides, that is glycolipids which contain silic acids, become reduced in certain mouse cancer cells. Enzymes involved in biosynthesis of these gangliosides are also reduced. Focus on this point, enzymes involved in biosynthesis of these glycosides are also reduced. Certain changes have been reported in glycoproteins of plasma membrane of cancerous cells also. This organization of cytoskeleton very very important features. Normal cells have a well organized cytoskeleton which consists of microtubules, microfilaments and intermediate filaments wide range of 7 to 25 nanometer. The fiber like proteins have a regular arrangements and being bring about coordinated cell movements. So, in transformed or cancerous cell, the fibers are much fewer in number and usually much thinner. In transformed cells, the cytoskeleton is found to undergo depolymerization. The microtubule disaggregate. The microfilaments undergo depolymerization and disappear, but diffuse actin persist. The myosin-like filaments also disappear. Thus, in transformed cells, the cytoskeleton proteins becomes less organized than in normal cells. It has been suggested that due to this disorganization of the cytoskeleton, there is an increased mobility of plasma membrane proteins. Another important feature is increase in negative surface charge in malignant cells. Anotic mobility is usually higher, indicating increase in negative surface change. So, negative surface charge is in changing mode. Increase sugar transport. Another feature, tumor cells consume much more glucose than normal cells because they have to grow and multiply, grow and multiply, grow and multiply. There is a great increase in the rate of sugar transport across the surface membrane, plasma membrane that is, after transformation of the cell. This tends to increase in sugar intake by malignant cells. Increased rate of glycolysis in the 1920s. Warburg pointed out that oxidative aerobic respiration is depressed in tumor cells and that glycolysis increases. 
इनक्रीज सिक्रेशन ऑफ प्रोटियोलाइटिक एंजाइम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ एनी कैंड ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटियोलाइटिक एंजाइम्स आर सिक्रेटेड बाई ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कैंसर सेल्स एक्सेप्ट दोज ऑफ ब्लड फॉर्मिंग टिश्यूज द कैंसर सेल सिक्रेट्स ए प्रोटी एच कॉल द सेल फैक्टर अप्रोक्सिमेटली मॉलिकुलर एट फोर्टी थाउजेंड द सेल फैक्टर एक्ट ऑन एन इनर्ट सिरम प्रोटीन प्लाज्मानोजेन टू फॉर्म ए प्लाज्मीन ए प्रोटियोलाइटिक एंजाइम्स इट हेज बीन सजेस्टेड दैट प्लाज्मा removes many proteins projecting from the cell surface by enzymatic digestion and signals the cell into division in normal cells are treated with proteases they show many of the characteristic features of transformed cells so these are the some very commonly asked questions about common characteristic feature of cancerous cells so discuss some historical evidences behind sub cancerous cells behind hela cells the painful story of henrietta and so i think we have clear discussion about cancer in our coming videos follow on proto oncogen tumor suppression genes retinoblastoma p53 and other aspects of cancer